Yo, what up, y'all? It's the Mental Ninja. Chilling out, right? Doing my thing. Just actually, well, I kind of just woke up and shit a little bit ago and uh, was reading some comments on my fucking, uh, like my last video or whatever. And uh, so dude asked me, like, he's like, <clears throat> basically, I guess he like trying to call me out or whatever and shit, which is cool, bro. Like, I get it. I totally understand and stuff. I ain't got no problem with it and stuff. You know, I don't really take people's comments too serious. You know, it's like, so uh, I think your name is like Procre Procyon, whatever the fuck your name is. Procyon B, Procyon A, Procyon Elemental P, whatever the fuck. It's cool, you know. Um, and the, the, the individual had made a comment about um, my uh, allegory. Well, he called it an analogy. It's an allegory, bro. It's a story. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like making an analogy of one word or one constant other. It's an allegory. So that might be important for you to understand. It. And like, homeboy was like, oh, I thought the allegory, the analogy was pretty poor, or is that a poor analogy? And, and this and that. You know what I'm saying? If anybody can go read in the comment box and shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't the type of nigga to be like, oh, delete this shit or whatever like that. Because I really truthfully don't give a fuck, you know? Motherfuckers gonna have their own opinion about shit, and I'm cool with that because if I have my, if I'm, if I feel like I should be free to express my, or I am free to express my own views, opinion, positions, you know, saying stances and perceptions or perspectives or something, I really believe it should be important that other people have, you know, observe that same right, or I allow people to observe that same right because once I negate somebody else's right, I negate my own. You know what I'm saying? And like the dude, like. You kind of like, you know, pro, pro Sion, I can tell you hella polarized, bro. Like, you hear certain words and, like, you just immediately go through certain trains of thought, which I get it, dog. I ain't mad at you and shit. All the, all the crazy stuff you talking about on the, on, the, on the comment, the blog ass fucking speeches you writing and stuff, bro. Like, it took me, like, like really, it, man, dog, you gotta, like, chill out. I mean, you don't, you don't gotta do nothing. You don't gotta do nothing, bro. If you wanna write a book in the comment section, write a book. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna. Subscribe to somebody's channel so you can check out their videos so you can just like talk shit, whatever. That's cool. You know, I know a lot of people that are like so negative they can walk into a dark room and develop that are like they so negative, like they'll go to Wendy's and shit and sit up in Wendy's and, and not order no food and just be complaining how bad the food tastes and shit. You know, and they never have the food and they just like stay stay sitting in Wendy's and shit complaining and bitching and shit, bro. So I can see why you would come on to my comment box, watch my videos, and just bitch and complain and moan and blah, 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 all that stuff. I get it, bro. I totally understand. That's what resentments are, man. You know what I'm saying? I say something, you don't like it, and, you, and you get, you're you free to respond, feel, free to feel the way you want to feel, bro. I'm not here to dictate or control nobody's thoughts, feelings, or emotions and shit. That's their own job. Even if they're, like, triggered. I don't even like saying that word, triggered. Cause I don't believe anybody can be triggered to do nothing. I can't trigger a motherfucker to have a headache or trigger a motherfucker to fall asleep. They they go to sleep because it's their own body, it's their own mind and shit, right? But um, yeah, the dude was like, and it's funny. I, I see like funny shit, but you were but you were like, <laughs> you making me laugh, bro. Like I, so I, I woke up to some good laughter and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know the whole thing about you don't you don't respect the person that takes an oath. You know what I'm saying? When like. <laughs> A oath is like something important though. You know what I'm saying? Like basically if and being you're forty five and retired, I'm pretty sure you've never been to jail. I'm pretty sure that you don't you've never committed a crime and shit. I actually you know what? I don't even fucking know, so I can't say I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? But I would assume by the way you speak that you've never been in a fight, for one. That you never uh you pop, you probably, yeah, I doubt it. I highly doubt that you ever been to a fight, that you ever been in, uh, in, in jail or whatever, that you ever broke the law and shit. I doubt that you drive past the speed limit. I doubt that you've ever stolen anything or lied or anything like that because, like, you know, you're, you know, obviously you're fucking like this excellent dude, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Whether I agree with you or, or, or you agree with me, it really just, it's neither here nor there and shit, you know? But, like, one thing about me, bro, is like, I don't really subscribe to people's channels watch their videos and then like be talking shit and then stay subscribed my nigga like when you subscribe to my videos that means that you're interested in seeing my content and shit you know what i'm saying so like that's your energy my nigga 
That's your energy that you're giving to me. And every time you watch one of my videos, I get some YouTube view time for that shit. And you get me close to my fucking goal of getting 4,000 hours and shit. And so, and, and uh, one plus more subscriber so I can fucking get my live stream and shit. You know what I'm saying? So that I can, so honestly, bro, I would like ask you, like really, you know, man, it's like, it's like, I'm really asking you, you know, please keep watching my videos. Whether you agree with them or not, I still benefit from it because I want to reach the point where I can do live streams and I can do call-ins and I can do a one-on-one -on -one with you and then you can like fucking talk all the fucking hellish shit that you want, bro. And I'll, and I'll, I'm cool with that, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I don't take shit too serious and shit, you know what I'm saying? I might be like, get really sincere or, or I get passionate about something. It's not like I'm gonna be serious where I was like, I'm gonna be fucking angry and shit. Like, you know, it's gonna ruin my day and stuff and I'm not, and I'm not gonna go to sleep or whatever because I'm still thinking about this one thing that happened from earlier the other day and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, um. Uh, Cause yeah, I am. I also am as good. I'm, I'm well skilled in the art of building as well as the art of destruction and shit. Because they're crafts and shit. Rowan is like, nigga, I'm a temple myself. I build up and I destroy myself and build myself back up again, easy and shit. You know, I, I just share this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like going back to the oath, and it was funny, dog. It was funny as fuck. Cause you're like, oh, you're an oath taker. You can't be trusted. I'm like, nigga, are you serious? Like, if I tell my homeboy, hey, bro, if I tell you something. Please don't tell nobody. And he's like, bro, I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm like, bro, promise me. He's like, I promise. That's a fucking oath, you dumbass motherfucker, right? And then this nigga, Procyon B, you, motherfucker, if you're watching this shit, yo ass, I'm pointing at you, nigga, with my ring on and shit, bro. I hope that you ain't fucking offended and be like, oh, there you go, you crelly and the, or all this other fucking shit you coming out with. Son, peace, God, all that fucking East Coast shit, nigga. It's the West Coast, nigga. I don't give a that shit. <laughs> all I hear is motherfucking like Wu Tang and shit. I love the Wu Tang. I love the Wu Tang, but I don't think you was in the Wu Tang and shit. You feel me? And let me just. All right, so look. You tell me oath takers are bad. Oath takers are evil. Oath takers can't be trusted. You talking about you can't serve two masters and and this and that and the beast and Crowley and OTO. You're talking about, about all these things like that which you know nothing of. At least I would expect like, nigga, you took an oath before and you seen how fucking bad it was and shit. But an oath is a promise. And then you finish up. Oath take. You took two oaths, you oath taker. Word is bond. I, I fucking I laugh really fucking hard because that like kind of showed me that you really aren't too bright. And that's okay, bro. There's a lot of people that's not bright and that's not their own fault. Maybe it's like some kind of genetic, maybe they, you know, dropped on the head, something happened to their kid. They might have drowned one time almost and, and like their brains didn't function the proper way and shit where they're not really able to pick up on certain understandings, concepts and shit like that. I get it, bro. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not slandering you or nothing like that, nigga. And, but I want you to know that when you say word is bond, what the fuck? You're bonded by your word. That's an oath. Your word is something that you stand behind. That means that you mean it, that you'll follow through on it, that you won't break that word. And that's the bond. That bonds you to the word. The word is the oath. So you're like, yo, son, yo, word is born, son, word is born. <laughs> you just say that shit because it's a cool, catchy phrase. Yeah, I wouldn't trust you that much either. But like, really, I can't trust nobody, bro. I can't even trust my motherfucking boss to have a fucking uh, a business when we get back off the quarantine. I can't trust, you know what I'm saying, the next man to fucking eat a fucking hamburger and shit and all of a sudden I feel full. I can't trust nobody, bro. Only thing I can trust is myself and the, and the power that I believe in and shit, bro. And if I say, oh, the power I believe in, you like, see, it's the, it, 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 that's cool with me too, bro. I already know all about people that have dogmatic and superstitious beliefs that be talking about serving two masters. And what you want me to do, it sounds like you want me to perceive the world through, through from your perception and shit. Like you don't really, you're not really cool. Other people's having their own perceptions or engaged in their own lives and shit. You're more or less looking for things you can fucking hate on. You know what I'm saying? So 45 years old, hating ass nigga. I got, I get it, bro. I fucking get it. Now I just text you what time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about something else. But, um, yeah, bro. But, like, so the nature taking an oath, right? You know, 
if you're against oaths and you have a bank account, you know, your bank took an oath not to fucking publicly display your fucking bank account information, your PIN numbers and, and all your credit information. And it's called the contract, the agreement. An oath is an agreement and shit. But it also has, you know, a divine understanding with it too and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm bound by my oath, bro. I keep my oath in my heart and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's important to me because for me, it gives me the ability that if somebody tells me something like, hey, bro, look, I'm going to tell you something and I'll I would respect it if you don't tell nobody. I got a box in my heart, you know what I'm saying? A place in my heart where I can be like, yeah, bro, I got you, man. Because I know somebody might be sharing, sharing something serious with me that, that may be, you know, something that's important to them and shit. And, and they're trusting me with that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when anybody tells me anything, like, bro, can I tell nobody? I don't care what it is. Like, if you proceed on, you came to me one day, you're like, bro, hey, man, I'm going to tell you something. And I'm going to ask you if you could. Please don't tell nobody else. Then I'm gonna I'm I'm looking at this extension of so you're giving me something precious to hold and shit secret and, and, and important in my heart and shit you know what I'm saying so yeah I'm a, I'm I'm gonna keep that secret bro because like I believe in that shit I believe in my words as good as my motherfucking bond nigga son hold up how they do it nigga let me do this shit word is born son <laughs> get the fuck out of here fucking faggot ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing wrong with gay people and shit, but I'm talking about, like, you fucking weirdo, nigga. Straight up. And then, like, of course, like, you know, I'm talking about, yeah, I'm in AA, this and that. I took an oath in AA not to pick up a drink or a drug and to help the next person that's suffering from alcoholism. And this nigga, Procyon B, A, Elemental, Q, whatever the fuck, is, like, somehow angered by that shit. It's like, oh, so you took two oaths. You took one to this bird master and one to that bird master. You definitely can't be trusted. And I'm like, nigga, do you hear yourself? Probably not, because you're only focused on what I'm saying. You only focus on what you can uh, use out of what I'm saying in a, in a context that's fucking pretty negative and shit, pretty fucked up. So like, we pretty much call like in the OTO, you know, in the occult, we call people with your mindset we call you guys the black brothers and shit or the black school where you're like really only looking for things that you can fucking disrupt and and and, and poison and slander and fucking you know you like to you like to distort things and shit and that's cool bro i get it everybody has their own position everybody has their own wants and needs in life and shit you know and then all this other oh you're a convict yeah nigga, i know i'm a convict for beating fucking dumb ass niggas up like you and running up in they shit bro I'm a, I, have, I have violent offenses, hella charges and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That I've came to terms with it and I've paid my, my debt to society and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that's one thing about that. Like, you don't like oaths and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I would suggest that if somebody came and it's like you saw something go down, they'd be like, hey, bro, don't tell nobody what you just saw. You'd be like, oh, okay. And then you're running fucking be snitching, nigga. Because, like, snitches do not fucking believe in oaths they do not believe in bonded by their by their word they do not believe in upholding to secrecy or keeping something personal and uh private and shit you know what i'm saying takashi 69 doesn't like oaths you know what i'm saying at all <laughs> you know what i'm saying and it's funny you might i guess when the word is bond all the sun and all that stuff you know, you must be from like the East Coast and shit, fucking. But, you know, I live in the East Coast. I got hella friends from the East Coast. I got family in the East Coast. I ain't got nothing wrong with the East Coast. It's just a fucking part of the nation and shit. There's a certain mindset and a certain fucking vocabulary and shit come with it. But, like, that's just cool, too. West Coast, got, we, we got our own vocabulary, nigga. We call nigga weenie-ass niggas like you and shit. Or nigga, when, before I go upside your head with this fucking coat hanger, nigga. You know, that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We have that. You know, but in the end of the day, bro, like... You can you can jump on the comment box and you can write all kind of fucking whole speeches and shit. But I want to tell you something, bro. Like personally, you know, this is how I feel about it. And not to be this is a personal thing, like oh you got me hurt or nothing like that. But this is like how I feel about something. It's like you know if you it would be wise and shit. I don't know. I think it would be kind of wise that if I'm gonna debate or talk about somebody else's channel and have my own channel where I don't do none of the things that the other person's doing. Would that maybe that I'm jealous about something? Would that maybe that I have a resentment or I'm bitter towards something? Like, man, this dude is doing this and that, and I'm subscribing to your, his channel. And like, nigga, like, I'm not subscribed to your channel. I've seen, I checked your channel out. Your channel has like really nothing other than a bunch of music and shit and some beats. That's cool, bro. But like, what you bring in, what what you bring, I can build off of, nigga. I heard the songs before and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what you you're doing everything negative and nothing positive. 
that's that's one thing we say in the hood out here, man. And when people say that shit, that's that's not good for the individual they're saying it to. That means that you stealing, homie. That means that you like that you really operate on a, on a take 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 type shit. And like what you bring into the table, bro. Other than your negative ass attitude and your fucking caring, you like caring, bro. You know who Karen is, right? Every time she pop up, she bitching and complaining about this and that. She she trying to pin everything into a fucked up light. You Karen, bro. You the chick with the fucking sunglass talking about, oh, he's on, they're over here and you're in the OTO. You know what I'm saying? That kind of shit. You know, so you can call me names and all that stuff, bro. But like, really, like, what is you doing? Like, I'm, you gonna watch this video. You, you hear, you gonna hear your name out my motherfucking mouth and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then if like, if we ever like, there's an opportunity we ever meet up in public and shit. Like, I work on the fucking strip in front of Planet fucking Hollywood, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not hard to find. Anybody in the world can find me. They'll see me. I got the fucking the best looking shoe with most times, nine times out of ten. I got some of the flashiest, coolest looking shoes on the strip. Or at least where I see. And that might be an egotistical thing, but like, maybe the comments or your boss that work with me. Everybody that work on the strip know me and shit. Like, all the motherfuckers who work, all the, the showgirls and shit, all the street performers and shit, all the timeshare dudes and shit, all the hustlers, all the bums, all those motherfuckers know who I am because I'm in one of the central spots in Las Vegas on the strip in front of Planet Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you really got beef and shit, nigga, you know where to fucking find me. You can take a plane trip, a fucking bus trip, a train trip, and then walk trip, whatever you want to do, and come and locate your boy and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you can, if you want to slander all that shit, you can say that shit in publicly, bro, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And and, and if you want to duke it out, nigga, I ain't scared to fight nobody, bro. And you be like, oh, this nigga's upset. He's talking about fighting. That's what convicts do. It was like, nigga, yeah, that's what men do, bro. All the talking shit over on social media and YouTube and comment boxing. Bro, I don't comment box, nigga. I box in real life and shit. I seen you have some shit on your thing about boxing, bro. We can go. I can get access to Floyd Mayweather's gym, bro. Straight up. I can ask the dude. I'm over there all the fucking time and shit. Hey, I'm going to invite this dude over. We want to do a little sparring thing and shit. We can handle it out. You know what I'm saying? Like that. We can videotape it and you can actually upload something on your YouTube channel that actually has you in it. And not other niggas shit. Like a motherfucking, uh, what we call them? Uh, parasites, uh, borrowers, thieves, the South say thieves, you know what I'm saying? It's like you can actually contribute something on your YouTube channel that you've actually brought into life. Instead of like being angry at other people for doing what you're not doing, which I don't even know if you know how to. Maybe when you retire from wherever you work and you didn't make enough money where you can get anything better than a fucking flip phone. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just fucking sharing my thoughts freely on social media, on YouTube. It's a platform, bro. You know, and like all the servant to masters and stuff. And like the thing about the whole, bro, like if you didn't catch the thing about the whole, it's because you're too negative, bro. It's called con uh, content prior to investigation. It's, a, it's an idea that will keep any man for an forever in ignorance. You know what I'm saying? And that's con content prior to investigation. So you jump on my channel, right? And judging by, like, you talk to my bro Sanchez, that's probably where you know me from. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you was having a bad day. Maybe your bitch left you. Maybe you found she was cheating. Maybe she told you you were cheating, like, you was ugly or something. I don't fucking know. But whatever it is, prompted you to fucking be on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Which is a was a open social uh, YouTube platform for anybody in the world of you. You know what I'm saying? You just, like, don't feel what I'm saying, but you keep tuning back in to not feel. And that right there showed me your mindset, bro. If you don't like something, why are you going to continue to engage in it? You the type of nigga, like, really, I got plenty of people on Facebook that fucking comment on, I post something, they can't stand it, they don't like it, instead of scrolling past it, they decide to engage their energy and invest in my, in my posts, which the energy comes to me, you know what I'm saying, and they think that they can bring all this negative hatred and shit that's gonna really fucking affect me and shit, when I, I'm just sitting back on my phone and my computer looking, it's like, this motherfucker getting a little bit too serious about this shit, you know, he taking it too serious and it's affecting his day, you know what I'm saying, and yeah, like, on the on the AA side of be my sponsor, be like, bro, you know, you should you should like be be easy with those people because like everybody's not gonna understand things from your perspective. And I understand that too and stuff, you know, but I've always kinda had this like if I see a dead body, I'm gonna get a stick look <laughs> mentality and stuff. And Procyon, you're like a dead body, and I got a stick, you know, I'm just gonna poke at your ass and shit, see if eventually you move or you should continue to lay there and shit. 
you know, but you like, you go, you post, you post something, somebody post them on Facebook, you go in the comment and blow the comment up over and over, all this calling niggas names and shit, but like, you ain't fit to go meet up with these motherfuckers, bro, you know what I'm saying? You ain't fit to go try to like fucking do with these niggas and shit though, bro, you, you gonna sit behind in the backdrop and talk shit, and I'm sure, I'm pretty, I'm guaranteeing right now, because you're that predictable, that you'll jump on my comment box and talk more shit in this video. Because that's what you do. That's what I'm, what's expected of you. That's the oath you took to be a hating ass shit talking motherfucker. That's not gonna back that shit up and think that 45 years old and like you're not 55, so I'll beat your ass up straight up. I'll catch a regular simp. I'll catch a regular fucking battery charge and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be no fucking, you know, on an old. You know what I'm saying? Plus, only seven years older than me, my nigga. So like that stuff you talking about retired, blah blah blah. Like that's cool, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's why you're so mad because you're retired and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you just you just angry because you ain't got nothing to do. I hate to see another young nigga, another nigga that's not you doing something with their time and shit. Like, I don't know, bro. There's so many different reasons people be hating and shit. There's a billion and one ways they hate. Choose one. You feel me? I'm just keeping this shit real to you, dog. Straight up. Matter of fact, this video is, I'm gonna even dedicate, write your name on this video and shit too. So when you Google, when you fucking YouTube your name, this video gonna pop up first or second. So that's the, that's the, that's the one bad thing about when you, when you get involved in this shit, like it affects like the, the algorithm streams and shit and, and the hashtags and shit. This shit affects people searching up your name and shit, which I really doubt anybody searching up your name, looking to see your playlist and shit because you really ain't got nothing to offer. They'll watch any of those playlists, for one, that's other people's content that you fucking saved on your own for you to watch and stuff. So it's not like somebody's gonna, they're gonna watch the video and shit and they're gonna be like, oh, this dude, Procreon got some, Procreon got some good shit. You know, you're, you're using other people's shit, bro. Because like, maybe you're not a, maybe you don't have an imagination. Maybe you can't come with no own shit yourself. I don't know, bro. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going with what I see off the initial process and shit or you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, you go in the comment box and you just be blowing this shit up, talking about how much you don't agree and this and that, and you continue to blow this shit up and shit, you know what I'm saying? And like, maybe you just need some attention. You know, a lot of females need attention so they get fake eyelashes and then they get a big, black just get big, you know, booty injections that look like black chicks. They get the lips done and shit, you know what I'm saying? Their nose done. Maybe you just need attention and shit, bro. They got, why don't you get like fucking Snapchat or something or TikTok? And you can dance and sing the songs and shit, you know what I'm saying? All the, you know what I'm saying? But like, really when you come on, on some else's platform, bro, you, you run the risk of being like, you know, I can use this shit to my advantage, bro. Like real fucking shit. And yeah, I'm gonna say, that's some Alistair Crowley ass shit right there too, nigga. Like, oh, this dumb ass nigga then fucking stuck his neck off, stuck his neck out. It just so happened I got this big motherfucking ass machete and shit, nigga. And I was looking for something to chop, you know what I'm saying? And if you think that's evil, that's cool with me, nigga. I mean, I don't give a fuck. One thing is like, I want to tell you, this is like for you and anybody else who watches this shit and deals with this kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, or even anybody else who watches feels the shit feel the same way as you feel, you know? Because like, basically, your, I'll say it like this, a person's opinion of, a person's opinion of me does not become my reality. And you can do all, you can say everything you want to say. You can make videos and blah, and blah, 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 blah. You can be on Bro Sanchez channel and be like, this nigga, blah, 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 You know what I'm going to call you? You already know what I'm going to call you. You already know, everybody know who they about to say. I'm about to be like, yo, nigga, is you Bro Diadec brother? No, Bro Diadec got a new fucking name and shit. That's what I'm going to do. And, and you know what's going to happen? Niggas going to see that shit like, damn, bro, this nigga is on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? If you get on Bro Sanchez panel and on the, on the phone call in and shit, and you want to go in on me personally, then go ahead, bro. But when I get my couple seconds, I'm just going to humiliate your ass because I'm fucking smart with this shit. I'm crafty with this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I study people and shit, my nigga. You know? I already know exactly what to say to fucking undo your ass because you polarize yourself in a position that makes it easy. I know exactly where you're going to be at in the battlefield. I know exactly what position you have. You, you're you really not capable of fucking switching up positions, batting from left and batting from right and shit, you know what I'm saying? You're not capable of dribbling to your right and dribbling with your left and shit, shooting with your left as well as your right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm yo, yo, son, I'm mad versatile, word is born. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my nigga? And so basically, you're just gonna be setting your ass up for the crossover, bro. When I'm dribbling the ball right, 
I tell you, I count your steps I count with my dribbles. And I'll wait that foot come off the ground before I cross you up. And after you got fucking one foot on the ground, ain't shit you can do to stop the crossover, bro. Ain't shit you can do. When you when I'm when I'm backing up and we in the ring and shit, and as soon as that foot come up off the ground, I got my fucking back foot planted and shit, nigga. Yeah. I could jab your ass right there in your fucking chin, nigga, when your foot come off the ground because you have altered your center of, center of balance and shit. And you have to come to me to re recenter your balance and shit. So you're gonna come to me when your foot hit the ground. In the process, you're getting jabbing your motherfucking shit. In the process, you're trying to keep your hands up and maintain your balance coming down. Yeah, bro, it's a science, my nigga. And I box, right? So, you know, all that shit you talk is cool. But word is bond, that's an oath. You silly, super silly nigga. Motherfucking friendly na neighborhood, local friendly fuck boy ass nigga. You know, but... And yeah, I'm talking shit, because like, if I, I'll back my shit up, nigga. I'll fight motherfuckers, bro. I ain't even tripping on that. Win or lose, bro. It's like I'm a warrior, my nigga. And I'm a soldier in Thelema, too. I'm a soldier for the OTO. In the OTO, I'm an officer, bro. And that shit might offend you. You might, you know, probably be like, see, you you, you want some evil. You want some, uh, what do you call it? Serving two masters. Like, nigga, what the fuck you mean serving two masters, bro? Like, this is me that's talking. Not somebody else, bro. This is me that's smoking cigarettes. Me wearing a hat. Me wearing a shirt. Me wearing this ring, bro. Ain't no secondary individual involved in this shit. Ain't no ulterior fucking individual involved in this shit. It's just, you just getting me. Now, that whole servitude to masters, I think you say that because you try to come from position like, and all this woke shit, my nigga. I ain't even fucking, bro. I don't, I don't say I'm woke, nigga. You'll never say, hear me say I'm woke, nigga. I'm, I just got, I just got, I fucking believe, nigga. I perceive things differently than other people and shit, bro. I'm gonna have the ability to think for myself and use critical thought and observation in, in the process of doing so, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you hear OTO or you hear Freemasonry or you hear Golden Dawn or you hear Illuminati and that shit angers you and shit because you've already been fucking oriented to a certain polarity, that's not my problem, bro. That's your fucking problem. And in the end of the day, bro, I'm still gonna do me. In the end of the day, bro, I'm still gonna be out there working with other alcoholics and shit. Helping the homeless and shit, doing things with the Mason, they do they fucking homeless feeding and shit, you know what I'm saying? And you can say whatever the fuck you want about that shit. In the end of the day, a nigga come out my out his face wild in front of me, and he get too close and he loud in his hand and, and he's moving his hands too much. I'm gonna put my fist up and that nigga gonna flinch and I'ma steal on his bitch ass, nigga, and I'm not gonna go to jail for that shit. <laughs> Cause I know how to fucking operate this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know how to operate this shit. Also that because I've learned, nigga, over time, like, how to act pro uh, properly engage in the motherfucking fight and shit, not go to jail for that shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Procyon B, Procyon A, all that Greek shit you talking, the Greek gave the name and all that shit, bro. It's just, really, it reveals to me the, the level of profaneness in your fucking mindset, bro. And I'm not mad at you for that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things I don't know myself. I'm still learning this shit, so... I do have like a bit of a, I do have a degree of a profane, a profane mentality when it comes to certain concepts and devices and shit. But the thing about that, I would feel that makes me different from you or separates us, you know, not for polarity and shit, but for me being non-polarized as much as I can be, which is a polarity in itself and shit amongst two other polarities that I can choose from and shit. It's not to navigate both of them and shit, bro. And like, I'm not really the type that's going to go on another nigga shit and fucking blow it up and not like add no content and shit, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, bro. I'll make my own videos, nigga. I ain't gonna fucking, you know, down, you know, copy some video on my fucking shit to express myself. I, I can do that myself, bro, because I, I, the idea of serving two masters and shit is that, nigga, you you have the master inside you, but you follow some, some other master, some influential master bias that, that dictates your emotional state, your mental state, your uh, and whatever decisions you make based on your environment, bro. There's no harmony with that. That's why whatever I say on my channel, on my, on my video, you're reacting to what I'm saying, bro. You're not, like, bringing anything new to the subject. You're not bringing any fucking light to the subject. You're not bringing any build, any fire to the fucking, any wood to the fire. You're just bringing piss, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I like fucking with niggas that fucking bring wood to the fire rather than piss on it. That's why I fuck with life, spirit, body, and shit. And that's why I fuck with King of Higher Self. Like, some real niggas and shit, bro. Some good brothers. I feel like, you know, if I came down to it and I was around them, I'd be like, hey, bro, can I tell you something? Please not tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm sure I can, I, I, I guarantee, man, I can. I have enough trust that I can trust in them. And if they violate the trust, it's still, it's okay too. But for, for what I know, them are some good brothers. Sir Drop, that's a real ass nigga, bro. And he'll be on his fucking chat, on his live stream, and he'll be like, look, um, 
I don't even know what I'm talking about this shit. You guys, the masters, I'm gonna let y'all build. So basically what he's done is he's provided the avenue and a platform for other people and stuff. And he likes to sit back and watch and listen, which is healthy and admirable and shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Sanchez, he got he got a lot of fucking wisdom. He does a lot of work and he brings that and shit. You know what I'm saying? To the motherfuckers that are just interested in learning, to the motherfuckers that, that want to learn more, the motherfuckers that are trying to, uh, that are trying to build other people or trying to hear what another person understands or what their perspective is. And then we got like fucking weird ass niggas like you that just show up to fucking they little fucking funny ass clowns since they long ass shoes and shit and be throwing fucking salt and shit. You know what I'm saying? Throwing shade. That's It's an open platform, bro. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm really excited for you though. Pro C I B A Elemental Q R S T U V. MTV, BET, whatever the fuck your name is, I'm really excited for you because one thing I understand is that, nigga, like, you like a puppet, my nigga, and, like, I can post something on my fucking channel, and you're gonna respond to it in the in the context that I'm posting it for, and that's what you come out and reveal yourself as, nigga, a little weird-ass nigga and shit that's fucking emotional and shit, getting your feelings and be like, and want to leave these fucking, like, fuck it. this nigga wrote, like, a fucking comment that was like, man... A book, nigga. Like, you really need some attention. You really need to be heard and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, my nigga, you can make a video. All you got to do really is like this. You put your fucking phone on record. You record the video. You upload that shit onto your channel. It's so simple, bro. You can say all the things you want and use 30 minutes in a fucking video conversation that you're going to post on your views, positions, opinions, and beliefs. I'm not going to hate you for that shit, bro. You're a, you're, you're a fucking grown-ass man. Retired 45 years and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let the, I'm not gonna fucking try to stop you, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, let, and I probably won't even watch the shit unless you ask me to. Because I'm not really fucking with your page like that because your page ain't shit. Your channel ain't fucking shit. It's boring, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Boring as fuck. I done had this channel for motherfucking like a, a month, maybe, a little like a month and a week, and I've been it's been growing at its, at its, at the rate the rate it's supposed to. And I get comments that are fucking healthy and shit that encourage me to do some more shit. I get comments from fucking weirdo niggas like you that encourage me to do more shit. And here I be doing more shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fucking teach you how to dougie, my nigga. You know, and 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 if you don't like it, that's that's not my problem, bro. That's none of my business, really, my nigga. What you like and what you don't like has nothing to do with me. Your views, opinions, positions, beliefs, and shit has nothing to do with me. You not liking the OTO? That's your fucking problem. That has nothing to do with me. You can say this. You can say that. That has nothing to do with me. That's your motherfucking problem. And really, I would think that it was something that you might want to get checked out. Go hit the doctor up. You know what I'm saying? Go hit the psychiatrist up. But if you're going to go see a psychiatrist, you might as well get your head checked. You know what I'm saying? But all my ass, like, keep tuning tune to my shit, bro, because I can use your views, your hour time that you spend. This is a 30-minute fucking video. I hope you watch every second of this motherfucker. That's going to give me 30 more minutes on my fucking view time. It's going to get me close to my live stream capabilities, bro. See, what you don't understand is that you fucking helping me, nigga. All the fucking bad press will help me because it'll get motherfuckers tuning in to my shit. That's how the shit, that's how advertisement works, bro. All I care about is you tuning in. If you like it, awesome. If you don't, awesome. If you only looking like, hmm, let me fucking, oh, Ninja drop something's gonna fucking chime in with a notification. You'll see a little blue dot in the bottom of your subscriptions. It's gonna say Mental Ninja with a little, uh, with all seeing eye. You know what I'm saying? That'd be on top of Coley's hat and shit. And you like, oh, this is that Coley shit. Blah, 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 blah. Bro, my nigga, fuck you. That's okay. We don't care. You know, I don't care. You can do you, I'm going to do me. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's that's the beautiful thing about life. That's the beautiful thing about being your own person and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the beautiful thing. I love these shoes, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I hope you got some nice looking shoes. Don't come up in this motherfucker also with some motherfucker old flip flops or some house shoes and shit or some old fucking trucker boots, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to compare apples and oranges because they both fucking fruit. And I ain't no dumbass nigga that can't see that shit. Anyway. That was like a fun little rant, you know? And all the talking like like any, and this is the, this is some real shit. A nigga that'll fucking hate on another nigga's recovery and shit is a really a, a nigga that really ain't fucking about nothing, bro. Honestly, bro. Honestly. Honestly, my nigga. You may be an alcoholic yourself. You may be like a crackhead or a meth addict or whatever the fuck. You popping pills and smoking. You may be smoking spice, nigga. Which is like, I get it, bro. 
I've been there before, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, when a motherfucker try to get their life together and shit, is doing shit that they always want to do, and you got some little fucking weird-ass nigga like you talking about, mm, word is born, son, yo, and all you do is hate. Shame on you. I love saying that shit. That shit's so fucking cut, niggas. Like, ah! You know what I'm saying? So, do you, bro. Procyon B. I dropped your name three or four, ten times and shit, so... I'm gonna title. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put your name at the top of the video so you know it's for you. Um, I'll, I'll, I also people already uh, will know who you are, so I'm gonna help you out. Give you give you some publicity and shit. Give you some um, some motherfucking uh, some motherfucking whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I hope you enjoy the video, bro. I hope if you got any questions, I'm sure that you're gonna leave a fucking like a, a mile long fucking football field comment in the box and shit. And when I get a chance to read all that fucking shit you gonna write. You know, if you could, if you really could, either make a response video, which really, honestly, bro, I'm actually encouraging you to make a response video because this is what I feel. I feel that if you do believe that you have anything positive to offer and a fucking um, 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 a market or a fucking um, a group that will respond to what to your uh, dialect of fucking what you have to offer. I hope you make a video. I hope that your channel becomes successful. I hope that you get people to tune into what you have to say and shit. And I hope that it, it, it gives you ambition and drive to keep doing it and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that you're able to reach some people with what you're doing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're trying to start a fucking bunk, we want to go kill Mental Ninja. He say he work at Planet Hollywood right in front by the stairs and shit where all the fucking showgirls be niggas selling timeshare with his homies and shit that work cross street nigga timeshare for Jockey Club Cosmopolitan. I hope you like, go get that nigga. I'll be there, nigga. And he only let me a lot, a lot of motherfuckers, bro. A lot of motherfuckers, bro. Cause like, nigga, I'm tied up in this trip too, man. Like the whole strip, you know. What I'm saying like, nigga, you wouldn't even know like the hood out there and shit, you know. But uh, I'm a commission worker that's an employee of my company and shit. So you know where to find me. And if you want to fucking do like this fucking super hating shit where you want to like just throw salt in the game and, and corrupt niggas to go do this and that, you're more than free, more than welcome to, bro. But really, I hope you fucking make a video. Because that what it will do is it'll get your channel started, bro. And you can be like, yeah, and, I, and you can give your shout out to me. Like, you know what? Honestly, bro, fuck that nigga mental ninja. Son, word is, word is born, son. Fuck the mental ninja, son. All that fucking weird ass shit y'all niggas be doing, bro. Stop fucking niggas be like, look. Yo, son. Yo, son. Yeah, son, you know, yeah, bro, yo, yeah, son, yeah, fuck that nigga, the mental ninja, right? Yo, B, yeah, fuck that nigga. Bro, you about to start a fire with your ashy ass hands, nigga. Put your hands down before I strike you, nigga. That's what we say. That's exactly what we'll say to you doing that shit in front of us or in front of me. Anyway, you make your channel, you make a video, talking shit about me, talking shit about whoever, talking about whatever. And what happens is, you know, fucking, if you build it, they will come. You will start to build your own platform. You start to build, to bring on the people that identify with you speak with, what you speak about. And you'll start to see that. And I'm telling you, bro, it does feel good. Like, man, people watch my videos. Get comfortable in front of the fucking camera, bro. Now, now, fuck, give you a, so now you, this should turn into a self-help shit, nigga. I'm trying to give you fucking pointers and shit to help you grow your fucking platform, bro. If that's what you choose to do. If not, nigga, jump on my shit. Comment away, nigga. Like, really, I don't give a fuck, my nigga, because I'm going to continue doing me and shit. I'm going to continue fucking doing this fucking battle against fucking dogma and superstition, which we thelemites and OTO scream death to dogma and superstition and tyranny. Straight up. And if that shit make you mad, then that's not my problem. That's a personal problem. And also, I'm going to still be working with alcoholics, bro. Matter of fact, in about an hour, I'm about to get meet with my, with my fucking sponsees, and we're going to get in this motherfucking book. And then when he get his shit done, he gonna be working with sponsees too. And one day there's gonna be a, there's gonna be somebody's mom that's gonna be like happy to see that their fucking child is fucking sober, working the twelve steps and shit, and got a fucking fellowship and recovery program, got a nice little job, paying their own bills, ain't living homeless, the children in jail anymore, or if they dead and shit. So if you don't like the fucking AA shit, nigga, I swear I'll knock your bitch ass out, bro. But I, why? Hey, you can have your own beliefs, my nigga, straight up. If you don't like AA, you don't like OTO, you don't got like fucking death row records, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let it be known then, nigga. And it's duck before I go upside your head with this coat hanger, nigga, straight up. So I'm just talking shit. I'm just having fun. I'm just being me, my true authentic self. I got knowledge and I got motherfucking whatever you need, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You choose this shit.
But uh, Procyon B, I don't have to look your name up again because like I keep forgetting it. Cause like really, you was like a fifth wheel nigga in, in the motherfucking woke game, nigga. You was like really, you be on other niggas' channels and shit, but you ain't got no heart, you ain't got no courage to do that shit yourself. So you wanna slander and hate, nigga, and I get it, my nigga. You a nigga officiated from the sidelines. You the nigga on the bench, ain't been in the game the whole day. See me drop 20 and shit, 38 years old and shit, be just hating. You know what I'm saying? I might even put some workout videos on this motherfucker so I can help your fat ass get in shape, nigga. Straight up. Straight the fuck up, nigga. Because, like, for me, bro, life is nothing but opportunity, bro. It's love. It's beautiful. And like I said, I'm skilled in the ways of building and destruction and tearing down and remodeling and shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Procyon A, B, word is bond, nigga. Remember, that shit is an oath, you dumbass motherfucker, bro. But this video for you, I'm going to title it after you. Pay my, I'm going to put your name first before I put my name. So you know, you know what I'm saying? You can Google your name when this video done, and you'll see this video pop up. Boop, there you go. So to everybody else, man, Spirit Light Body, fucking Eddie Machete, Sir Drop, Bro, Sanchez, Marty Lee's, Real Tech Computer Services, uh, you know what I'm saying, Backpack Zoe, uh, Question Everything, True To, motherfucking, uh, everybody, bro, everybody else, man. Shout out to all y'all, man. Much love and all my fellow felon mics in the OTO and not in the OTO 93s, man. I'm out. Mental Ninja.